Great and Michael, dog trainer, behavior technician. Thanks for tuning into Modern Dog Training. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to pass this information on to someone who might need it. Recently, I did three sessions with a little Maltese named Carson, who's three years old. He had kind of a rough beginning and was adopted by a super awesome family who is very dedicated. They have another dog in the home and they really have had a challenge with leash reactivity. Uh, Carson, when they first got him, uh, about six months ago would bark like crazy when they took him out. Uh, when we did our initial session and took him for a walk, he was shut down to the point where he was shaking in fear. Now he would still take food during that session, so we were able to get the counter conditioning accomplished, but he was visibly scared. I met up with Carson two more times after the initial session, so three times all together, and we're going to show you both follow-up sessions and a little bit of the initial session, and then we'll comment on it. That's good. Wait right there, Daniel. Wait right there. You okay? Just wait right here for a sec. Just let him settle in. Take a food. There you go. You're still taking food. So we got a bite coming, so stand up for a sec. Just let him notice stuff. Yes! Okay. Good boy. It's okay. Yeah, you feel good. Big good stress boy. shake. Yes. Good boy. Good job. He's taking food, which is great. Yes. Paying him for that car. He's popping right off the marker. Good job. Good boy. Good Here boy. comes a person. Yes. Right? Pop right off the marker. Yes. Paying him for that little clicky sound that the car made. You see, this is not the way you do it at home. Well, he's also nervous. Here comes a motorcycle. Well, I was going to say, he's also being trained by me, right? Here's the motorcycle. Yes! 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 Gotcha, kid. Not my first one. You're okay. Oh, I'm, I'm a good guy now? You like hanging out with me, huh? So just by standing here, right, we have a getaway spot, right, and we're pretty close to the road. Uh, we got people coming. Again, my leash is short, right, so I don't have to worry about him, like, jetting out and, like, barking at people or, you know, running under their feet. So we got two kids coming. As soon as he uh, notices them, I will mark and pay. See the thing? Yes. See, the thing is, is I'm not paying him indiscriminately. I'm waiting till he focuses on either people, traffic, or dogs. Yes. Yes. Popping right off the marker. Yes. 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 Got two more people coming. So, so far he hasn't gone over threshold and he's had the opportunity to do it, right? We've got a bunch of kids coming down there. Uh, we got two people coming. Right, breaking up my treats ahead of time, watching the environment. Yes. But he's not in his normal situation. Yes. Yes. He's on leash, right? Yep. People are walking by, right? Is he reacting? But this isn't the way he normally, like he's a little, he's nervous. He's not that nervous because he's taking food. Right. Fear trumps food. I can't stop him from reacting unless I pick him up and walk out of here, right? So he's taking the food. He's being counter conditioned. He's not over threshold. Where's that? Right over there? Yeah, I see him. Good eye, Brian. Thanks for letting me know. Right now we got a bunch of people coming. So you, you you're, oh, we're, we're going to miss them. I think we're going to get covered by the car there. Right? So you said that when you're out walking him, right, and people are coming, he's barking at them. He's not barking at them now. Right. But we're, because 
this is not I, he's like even it's it's do different you, when do you, do you want him to bark no <laughs> then but he's doing I would, great i would yes. like him to kind of show you what he normally does no we don't want to see him do what he normally does because he normally barks at people we want yes but i think he that he doesn't feel like he normally like he's yes. nervous he's not that nervous you're making excuses and creating a narrative. Yes. No. Yeah. Yes. But what's the difference between these people walking by and the other people? Yes. Because he's not on his normal walk. So? It, it'll translate. Yes. The context is the same. Yes. He's either going to not take the food and react, not take the food and be scared, or he's going to take the food and stand on threshold. Right, and even though we're not in your neighborhood or where he normally walks, that's irrelevant to a certain extent because, look, now he's going over to gather scent, which is good. That means he's feeling even better, right? A dog walk is a dog walk is a dog walk. Ultimately, there's people, there's cars, there's dogs, there's traffic. Whether you're in Barnegat or Red Bank, it's basically the same context. It's okay. Yes. Good job. Okay, let's go, come on. So the initial session we did with Carson, we went for a walk, but he was really scared. And even though he would take food, we were able to get the counter conditioning done. But again, he was visibly scared, he was shaking. I was able to get the counter conditioning done with Carson on the first session, despite his fear, he was visibly shaking, but he was taking food. Counter conditioning is the process of pairing environmental stimulus with a marker, the word yes, and food. Now, even though he was scared, he was still taking the food, so counter conditioning was being accomplished. The mom was a little skeptical. The dad was on board. It's all right, bud. Good job. Want to get some smells? There's a big stress shake. Good job. I uh, know. Good boy. You're okay. The other thing is, is that I'm paying him really quick, right? I'm not wasting any time. I'm getting the yeah. first association. I'm paying him every couple of seconds. You know, if you're taking a second by saying... Nope, I like, I am always... Right, but what like, I'm saying is if you're taking a second to say good boy or, right, I'm not even saying anything but the word yes and feeding him, yeah. right? Yes and feeding him. And he's doing great. Look, he's going to gather scent, Right. And you know, you, 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 you got to expect him to be a little I bit. I think I'm listening to the trainer and I think if we do this at home and do it quickly, we'll be okay. In the second session with Carson, I let his mom do the handling and the marking and the paying and she did fantastic. When they came in for the second session and we did our debrief, we talked about how things were going and they said they were going incredibly well. And we went for a walk and I was really impressed because Carson's mom did a fantastic job and I commented how great her mechanics and timing were, which really is the biggest variable when you're counter conditioning leash reactive dogs. Yeah, big change. Remember last time you wouldn't even leave over there. Gathered a lot more scent. That's great. Yeah, let them let them gather scent. I would have paid him for all those car sounds already. Right? Let's like, see how he's looking around. Like this big truck. Yeah, pay him for that. Pay him again. Let's hold up this way and create some distance. Yeah, a little bit more. Come over here. More distance. And there's a person coming. Good. Yeah, nice. Good. Use that for pepperoni. Nice. Nice. Good mark. Yeah, good, good. Wait for him to finish chewing. You got a person here. Wait for him to check out this person. Nice. Look at that. You turned right off the marker. That was great. Really good. 
Nice, good timing. That was great. Good job. Dog across the street, wait for him to see him. All right, we got that dog across the street. Yeah, you gotta work for it. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> Good, smart. Hold out, wait till he notices something. That's smart. Big stress shake. So again, when you have an, an event like that where there's a truck and a person and all that traffic, he might do a stress shake and that's good. It means he's shaking off the stress. Got another person coming. Yeah, let him gather some scent. That's perfect. Yeah, good boy. So just watch him. Nice. Yeah, give him, yeah, don't wait for him to come back. When you mark, just go up and give him the food. That was good timing though. Nice, look at him, see him doing the disengage for you. Right, he's disengaging on his own. That's great. Yeah, you wanna use softer treats that he can chew and swallow quicker versus this stuff that's crunchy. You wanna use the softer stuff. Yeah, good job. We can go this way. Oh, have you got another person coming here? Yes. Nice, good mark. Yes. Wait him out. There you go. There you go. Good job. Wait him out. Nice. Yeah, he's jumping off the marker, which is super. That's great. Good job, buddy. Right here, we're going to have a surprise right here. So just wait him out. Wait till he sees him. Wait till he sees him. Nice. Good market pay. Nice. Good market pay. Really good. Get him again. Pay him. Pay him. Pay him. There you go. Good. Yeah. Try to get that food in quicker. Wait him out. Got some sounds no. across the street. <laughs> okay. We can go. That was great. And that's a difficult one too because that's sudden. Yeah. Right? And that kind of hits his blind spot there with his peripherals. That was really good. Good job, buddy. Good stuff, buddy. Nice. Good payment on the voices. Um, just check my blind corners here for you. Got a couple people coming, so stay right here. We're gonna mark and pay. Yes. Nice. Again. Nice. Yes. Nice. Really good timing. That was great. That was great. Good job. Good job, buddy. On the third session, the improvements just kept getting better and better. Um, when we did our debrief, we talked about how things had been going. We had missed our session because of some weather, so there was a little bit extra time in between, but they said things were going fantastic with Carson. They were able to bring him places. They were able to walk him without really worrying too much that he was gonna explode with barking and lunging. He's basically a different dog. Good payment for that sound. Got a guy with the trash bag. Good, nice mark to pay. Nice, good eye. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of activity with voices and kids and stuff today. happens when you get really focused you just mark your pay yep. <laughs> that's great I love it okay we're clear yes yeah mom's got you good job yeah he saw him that time good job yeah, he's much more focused on scent he's today. Uh, Again, that's one of the byproducts of marketing and paying is that your dog will have less stress. They'll just be more confident. 
And one of the signs of success is that they gather more scent. You know, they have their nose on the groundwater. Most of the time when dogs are really stressed on leash, they don't gather scent too much. They, uh, they spend a lot of time playing in the environment. Nice, good market pay. So you see how he looked at them, got paid, and went right back to smelling. That's great. Nice, good eye. You could tell he saw something, yep. huh? Yeah, that's great. Nice, really good eye, Danielle. Good, yeah, don't let the duration build. That's perfect. Good one. That was nice and sudden. He did great. Yeah, he didn't hear it. Right? But he, he heard it at the last second. Yep. And then you caught him with the market pay, which is super, really good. Nice. That's great. See how he looked at you first? That was great. That was really nice. Really good stuff. What I'd like you to start doing when he plays you for treats is to tell him to leave it. Don't pay him, just ask him to leave it. Look at that, great. He saw, he saw this guy coming and looked right at you. That's great. That's super nice. Yeah, he's just checking in with you. That's super. That's a big sign of success. When the stimulus becomes the cue. That's great. corner where we didn't move from the first time because yeah. he was really scared. You see, he was taking food that first time, but he was really scared. Not today though, huh, bud? Doing good, huh? Good boy. Yeah, doing good. Leave it? Yes. Thank you. Good job. You can't eat cacas off the ground, bud. <laughs> That's back up for you. Good boy. And this is all due to the fact that the people implemented the information. They implemented the protocols. They didn't waste time. They got to work marking yes and paying the dog a high value food reward for orienting to people, orienting to dogs, orienting to traffic, even orienting to sounds. Okay, so when you do this, when you mark and pay, when you yes and treat a dog for sudden environmental contrast, sooner rather than later, they are going to put together that they're safer or safe, they have less stress, and they'll start to develop either an auto disengage or they'll pop off that marker when they hear the word yes and they'll look to the handler to get that food reward. Remember, when you change the association, you also change the behavior. When you get the behavior changed, that's the whole point. Um, one of the challenging things about Carson is that he's little, he's a Maltese, so people got to get all the way down to their ankle and that can be challenging. But again, Carson's mom did a fantastic job and he's super, I mean, he really learned quick and he's such a great little dog. He's super friendly, he likes people, he's not aggressive, he was just stressed. And we reduce that stress with the mark and pay yes and treat protocol. You can do it for your dog too. This isn't just 
something that's specialized for certain dogs. Every dog has the potential for being reactive, and if you watched our video on the issues or the reasons why small dogs are misunderstood, this is a big reason. Little dogs are stressed because they're little. So when you mark and pay them, when you yes and treat them for sudden environmental contrast, they have less stress, better associations, and they'll change their behavior to something that's much more preferable than lunging and barking. Thanks again for watching Modern Dog Training. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to pass this information on to somebody who might need it. Have a great day, train safe, and train force free.